and showing that great phenomena that occurred in Paris at the end of the 19th century. Uh, many museum directors have wish lists of exhibitions they'd like to do, and certainly the exhibition that we're going to share with you today has been at the top of my list. And we are so lucky uh, that Guy Cocheval and his colleagues decided and were able uh, to enact a refurbishment of their museum in celebration and anticipation of the, the Gare d'Orsay's transformation 25 years ago into the Musée d'Orsay. Say, and that Guy thought well enough of San Francisco to allow us to bring many of the masterpieces here. And as Mayor Newsom alluded to the fact, we are uh, going to present today the first of the two consecutive exhibitions, this entitled The Birth of Impressionism, the second, which will appear here commencing September the 25th, called Van Gogh, Gauguin, Cezanne, and Beyond, the post-impressionist masterpieces from the Musée d'Orsay. So we're really lucky that Guy President of Jose Orsay thought well enough of San Francisco. As a sidebar, we're also really lucky uh, that last week uh, the volcano finally uh, cooperated and <laughs> allowed our planes to become airborne out of Europe and bring the last three shipments uh, from Europe to San Francisco. I was on pins and needles, uh, as were our staff here, that we might be having an exhibition and inviting you to something where we were only showing you posters on a wall. <laughs> <laughs> That's not the case. Uh, and so I thank the gods uh, that we were able to fly uh, and uh, share with you these great works of art. Uh, I will tell you that projects like this uh, require a lot of hard work and planning and organization. Uh, and the incubation of this project happened uh, in February of 2009, where Mrs. Wilsey uh, and I were visiting Paris uh, for a big art auction. We happened to have dinner with Guy. He said, oh, I'm going to do the renovation. And if you'll stay for a few days longer, we'll talk about some exhibitions from our collection that might come to San Francisco. So we changed our plane tickets, as a matter of fact, uh, and spent several days uh, working with Guy and his staff on the creation of the exhibition that you'll see. So I want to first and foremost thank Guy and welcome him formally to San Francisco. I also want to uh, thank two outstanding Orsay curators, Stéphane Guégan, who is with us today and will tour some of you through, as well as Elise Tomin, uh, both of whom have been generous uh, in sharing their insights and their information and their knowledge uh, of French painting with us. And I also want to welcome the Orsay's chief of staff Olivier Sima, director of exhibitions Jean Nodin, and their chief operating officer Thierry Gosseron uh, to San Francisco, as well as my colleague Maria Lopez from the Mafra Foundation in Madrid, which was privileged to host this exhibition prior to its arrival in San Francisco. Now, you all know that big projects like this also require a lot of work, but it requires major investments on behalf of the museums. And so we're fortunate to have had some supreme and superior patronage here. Uh, Janique Littlefield and her family stepped forward to be the major private patrons of the exhibition. Our presenting corporate partner is Bank of America, always a great community citizen for us. The Osher Foundation, the Corette Foundation, our San Francisco Auxiliary, and our own President Wilsey. Uh, have all become major exhibition patrons and given us, as I like to say, the wind beneath our wings uh, to uh, bring projects like this to San Francisco. Uh, what you'll see today was organized by our internal curator, Dr. Lynn Orr, our senior curator of European paintings, uh, working diligently with the Orsay curators over the past year. Uh, our wonderful exhibition designer, Bill White, has brought life to these paintings. Bill Huggins uh, brought light to them and Tress Chan uh, really ferried them uh, around the world to be with us. So I want to thank those staff members for being with us. So, you know, I always say that seeing is believing, uh, but, but before we break into groups and tour the exhibition, I'd like to call upon Guy Cocheval uh, to say a few words uh, to us today. He's traveled from afar uh, to be with us. Uh, Guy is always traveling. Uh, I wanted him to come on Monday, but he said, no, 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 no. It's the day the museum is closed in Paris and I can work with the staff on organizing exhibitions, I'll come to you on Tuesday. So, here he is, fresh off the plane for us and here with us throughout the week uh, to answer your questions and to share his perspective on the Musée d'Orsay. My colleague Guy Cocheval.
Mr. Mayor, Mrs. Wilson, dear colleague John Buchanan, uh, ladies and gentlemen, friends of the 19th century, I'm uh, extremely moved to open this exhibition with you and uh, to be at a few minutes from the revelation of uh, this project that we have been working on rather quickly, actually, because you, know, you stress on the fact that it took one year and a half for such a, a big and ponderous exhibition. Uh, the, the first, uh, we, what allowed us to, to do this project is the fact that after 25 years, the Musée d'Orsay needs a renovation. And uh, we, we have started uh, working on the galleries, the upper galleries. We are creating five new stories inside the museum devoted to uh, foreign, foreign in terms of not French, uh, decorative art of the turn of the century. And uh, we will have more uh, uh, quicker and more effective uh, elevators and uh, the visit will be simplified, uh, I hope so. Uh, at the end of the year 2011. The first idea that we started to work on with, with John and Lind Orr uh, was to do an exhibition around the year 1874. Why 1874? Uh, because it is the year of the first Impressionist exhibition in Paris, and it is also, by chance, the, the year of the reopening of the Luxembourg Museum, which was the Museum of Modern Art, which, mean, which meant at that time the museum that showed the living artists, when, the, when an artist would die, hopefully would go to the Louvre, like Corot, for instance, Millet during the period, that you will see represented here by some paintings. And uh, slowly we started thinking of a traveling exhibition that would intermingle some the end of academic art, the beginning of symbolist art, and there, is, there are two paintings by Gustave Moreau that are icons of early symbolism, one of which has been bought by the state in 1875. What is interesting in that kind of show is also to show the, the length of acquisition and the duration of acquisition in time. We are still acquiring many works of art, but it's always a great, uh, great pride to show uh, intelligent acquisitions of the state in the, in the 19th century. And all these combine with certain icons of Impressionism. We have La Rue Montorgueil Pavoisée uh, by Monet, uh, which is represented in every book uh, concerning Impressionism. We have La Gare Saint-Lazare, our version. I think there are three altogether in, in the world. Uh, we have the Turkeys, uh, big decorative panels that has never been on show so well here because you, you have the proper lighting, which I had not in the upper galleries in the old version of the Musée d'Orsay. There are some details that appear here in the, the light and in the, the, the clever presentation of the Musée de, de, of the San Francisco Museum that have made us French. Uh, I, I speak in your name, uh, the five or six French that are around me. Uh, we were extremely stunned by the beauty of the presentation, the intelligence of the, of the speech around the, 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 the work. I wanted to thank, first of all, the curators, uh, Stéphane Guégan and uh, Alice, uh, Alice Tomine, and to, to insist on the importance of the choices of Lynn Orr, who, who had the exhibition in her mind from the beginning. I wanted to, to thank uh, our friends and colleagues, uh, Olivier Sima, Thierry Gosseron, and uh, Jean Audin, who came from, from Paris and who have been part of organizing this show. Uh, I cannot remember everybody that has taken part inside the exhibition, but I know that it was a a common uh, effort, a common endeavor to, to obtain this success. And I hope you will enjoy the show because, of course, uh, before edification, art brings joy, happiness, and changes your lives. Thank you very much. So I think we're going to break into groups now, Jill, to tour the exhibition. Uh,